back in the shop. Oh wait, Ford Escape. We're gonna put a used transmission in it. Uh, just give you some quick pointers on what you've got to do. Uh, remove the battery, battery tray, eight millimeter bolts, uh, quick release clip, shifter cable, two clips, release it, pop it off the shift lever. Before you pull the mount, put your engine hanger on because it's the upper trans transmission mount and the lower two transmission mounts. If you remove those, the engine's going to hit the ground or hurt you if you're under it. Uh, what I do is I, I remove the engine mount off the subframe in the back and I remove the bracket. It just gives you more room to get it out. It takes just a few extra seconds to remove it. Um, you got four bell housing bolts across the top. They're 13 millimeters. Uh, also remove the fuel line. It's got a quick release. Uh, this plastic, if you get in here with your tools or your hands and you know, it ended up breaking it and you won't get the job done because you have to order a part from AutoZone or Advance and when it comes in, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, the dealer might take a couple of days, especially if you did it on Saturday or Sunday, you won't be driving to work on Monday. Uh, As far as removing the axles, the steering knuckle on this side wouldn't come loose from the ball joint. I've, I've pried and beat. I'm not gonna spread it too far because these knuckles will break. Uh, so just, I left it bolted, or left it in there, I'll bolt it back up. I removed the bolts from the strut to the steering knuckle. Remove the brake caliper and the ABS sensor. Took the axle nut off, slid the axle out then popped it out of the transmission. Uh, you got a connector here, then you got a speed, on, uh, speed sensor connector in there, remove those, pull your harness up, transmission line, right, right there, remove that. Uh, on the passenger side, you can leave the axle bolted to the nozzle. Cause there's enough room to slide that transmission and just leave it hanging in there. There's two 13 millimeter bolts that goes to the uh, bearing. Just take those off and that slides out pretty easy. Uh, also drain your fluid before you pull your axles out or you're gonna be laying the transmission fluid the rest of the day, getting your shirt soaked. So, uh, the, the torque converter bolts are behind, you have to remove the starter it's down low, two 13 millimeter bolts. And then your torque converter access is right there. There's four uh, 15 millimeter nuts. Uh, leave your stud facing towards your access hole. That way when you set your converter in there, you can spin it and it should line right up. <clears throat> so, hope this video helped. Like and subscribe to my page. I'll try to post more, get a little better at it. So, thanks guys.